masaya nating ipaghanda ang pagdating ng manunubos tagapagligtas natin tuwiri mga landas mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo'y darating We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communi communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who willed that your words should take flesh, in an ever-virgin womb. Look with favor on your prayers, on our prayers, that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts, who would dare rouse him. The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun, his name, shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed, all the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. 
O wisdom of our God Most High, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham, the father of Isaac. Isaac, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the, pa the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah. Avijah, the father, the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, the father of Joram. Joram, the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham, the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh, the father of Amos. Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and of his brothers. At the time of the Babylonian exile, after the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel. Shealtiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abiud. Abiud, the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan. Mathan became the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus who was called the Christ. Thus the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mga kapatid, ngayon po narinig natin ang daming pangalan. At ngayon, Jesus fulfilled what has been foretold by the prophets in the Old Testament. In the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 6 to 7, it says, God swore an oath to David that one among his descendants will establish the kingdom and throne that would put forever endure. Sa angka ni David magmumula ang hari na magtatatag ng kaharian at trono na walang hanggan at si Jesus ang haring dumating. Pero sa ating binasa, ay hindi ito patungkol kay Jesus, bagkos patungkol sa angka ni David na naging angka ni Jesus at kapansin-pansin sa mga pangalang binasa bukod kay Maria 
mayroong apat na pangalan. Ang isa nga, hindi pa nabanggit na pangalan. Pero mayroong apat na babae sa dinami-dami ng mga lalaki ang pangalan, mayroong apat na babae ang tinukoy sa Ibanghelyong ating binasa. Una si Tamar, nandun si Rahab, si Rahab, si Ruth, the wife of Uriah, who is Bathsheba. At hayaan niyo pong magkwento tayo patungkol sa apat na babaeng ito. Si Tamar na nabanggit sa aklat ng Genesis ay naging daughter-in-law ni Judah na kasama sa 12 tribes. Napangasawa ni Tamar ang kanyang anak na si Er. Pero si Er ay namatay at wala silang anak. Ngayon, patungkol sa batas, kapag hindi nabayayaan ng anak ang kanilang angkan, kailangan ibigay ang babae sa susunod na lalaking anak. At ang pangalawang anak ni Judah ay si Onan. Ngayon si Onan at si Tamar ay hindi rin nagkaroon ng anak. Pagkatapos si Onan ay namatay din. Naiwang balo ngayon si Tamar. At pagbalo ka, wala kang anak. Ito'y sumpa sa panahon ng mga Israelita. Isa kang sumpa. Kaya nga, anong ginawa ni Tamar? Noong namatay ang asawa ni Juda, si Juda ngayon ay nabalo. Si Tamar ay nag-disguise bilang isang harlot o prostitute at ibinigay niya ang kanyang sarili kay Juda. At pagkatapos ng tatlong buwan, nagkaroon ng bunga. Hindi alam ni Juda na si Tamar ang prostitute na yon. Kaya tung nalaman ni Juda na si Tamar ay nagdadalang tao, gusto siyang ipapatay because that is a disgrace to the family. Nais ipapatay ni Juda si Tamar. Pero anong ginawa ni Tamar? Kumuha siya ng ebidensya na ang kanyang anak sa sinapukunan ay anak ni Juda. And Juda was enlightened. That is his son. Nagkaroon sila ng anak. At pagkatapos, nagsisi si Judas sa kanyang ginawa. At ngayon si Tamar ay isa ng kasama sa angka ng mga Israelita. Meron na siyang anak. At ano naman po ang nangyari kay Rahab? Si Rahab, sa Book of Joshua natin mababasa, ay isa rin prostitute. Nang sakupin ni Joshua ang bayan ng Jericho, nagpadala siya ng dalawang espiya sa bayan para magmanman at pag-aralan ang mga sundalo ng kanyang bayan na sasakupin. At yung dalawang espiyang iyon ay pumasok at nakituloy sa bahay aliwan at yun ang bahay ni Rahab. At nang nakita ng mga kalaban ang dalawang espiyang ipinadala ni Jericho, ipinadala ni Joshua, ay itinago ni Rahab ang dalawang espiya para hindi mahuli. Sa kapalit, nakapag ang mga sundalo ni Joshua ay sasakupin na ang bayan ng Jericho. Ang pamilya ni Rahab will be spared. At gayon nga ang nangyari. Ang bayan ng Jericho ay nasakop ni Joshua. Lahat pinatay. Pero ang angkan, ang pamilya ni Rahab ay nabuhay. Dahil tinago niya ang dalawang espiya na ipinadala ni Joshua. At ano naman po ang nangyari kay Ruth? Si Ruth ay isa ring Gentile. Isa siyang Moabite. 
at ang mga Moabite ay nag-aasawa ng kanilang angkan. This is an insensuous family kin. Inaasawa nila ang kanilang kapatid, kanilang kamag-anak. Pero ano pong nangyari kay Ruth? Si Ruth ay naging asawa ng anak ni Naomi. Si Naomi at ang kanyang pamilya ay mula sa Bethlehem at pumunta sa Moab. At nung nagkaroon ng tagutom, naging balo si Naomi. Naging balo din si Ruth. At ika nga kapag balo ka at wala kang anak, isa kang parusa. You will be poor. You will be outcast. At dahil doon, gusto nang iiwan ni Naomi si Ruth at bumalik siya sa bayang Bethlehem. Pero anong ginawa ni Ruth? Sabi ni Ruth, which is a very famous song, Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, there shall I live. Your people will be my people. And your God will be my God too. At pumunta po si Naomi at si Ruth sa Bethlehem, kung saan nakilala ni Ruth si Boaz, isang mayamang businessman. At dahil napangasawa niya si Boaz, sila ngayon ay inangkin ni Boaz. At sila ay naging kasapi na ulit ng bayang Israel. Si Bathsheba, ano pong nangyari si ba kay Bathsheba? Si Bathsheba po ay hindi nabanggit sa ating binasang ebanghelyo, pero siya ay ang wife of Uriah, na isang sundalo ni David. At nung nakita ni David na si Bathsheba ay naliligo, sa sobrang kagandahan siya ay nabighani at pinapunta ni David si Bathsheba sa kanya at sila ay nagkaroon ng affair. Bagamat may asawa pa si Bathsheba, asawa pa niya si Uriah, ay nagkaroon si David ng anak kay Bathsheba. Nabuntis muna siya. Pagkatapos nun, ay pinapunta ni David si Uriah sa isang digmaan na kung saan siya ay tiyak na mamamatay. At namatay si Uriah. Ngayon, kinukup ni David si Bathsheba para maging kanyang asawa. Pero ang unang anak nila ay namatay. Ito'y dahil sa kasalanan ni David. Pero pagkatapos nun, nagkaroon pa sila ng dalawang anak. Na isang anak at ang kanilang pangalawang anak ay si Solomon. Ang Haring Solomon. At ito pong makukuha natin na aral dito sa mga apat na babaeng ating nabanggit. Tatlo sa kanila ay mga hintil. Hindi sila Israelita. Hindi sila bayang inangkin ng Diyos. Pero, pinapakita lang sa atin na ang kaligtasan at karihaan ng Diyos na darating na Mesaya, na si Jesus, ay hindi lang para sa mga Israelita. Bagkos para rin sa mga hintil na tumugo ng tawag na magbalik loob at maniwala sa Kanya. Ang pagpapala ng Diyos ay hindi lang sa bayan ng Israelita. Tayo rin ay minsang hintil. Pero nang tayo bininyagan, ang kaligtasan at pagpapala ng Diyos ay nasa atin din. Pangalawa, ang mga babae, lalo na yung tatlo, ay involved sa sexual sins. Prostitute, nakiapid. Yung angkan nga ni Ruth ay may incest na kasalanan. At ano pong sinasabi nito patungkol sa pagbubuntis ni Maria? Hindi ba matandaan natin na si Maria ay nabuntis lalang ng Espiritu Santo 
At kapag nalaman ng marami na ang Maria, na si Maria ay nabuntis, bagamat hindi pa sila nagsasama ni Jose, si Maria ay mamamatay. Papatayin siya. Dahil napakalaking kasalanan ang mga anak nang hindi ka pakasal sa panahon yun. Yung mga babae, yung mga tatlong babae, is telling us what will happen kung malaman ng mga tao ang mangyari kay Maria na siya ay nagbuntis bagamat hindi pa sila kasal at nagsama ni Jose. Papatayin siya papatayin si Maria. Kaya nga, yung mga babae yun ay nagbigay ng warning na yun ang mangyayari. Kaya't anong ginawa ng anong ginawa ng Diyos? Pinatulog si Jose at nagpakita siya sa kanyang panaginip. Joseph, do not be afraid. Take Mary as your wife. Because the son that she conceived is because by the power of the Holy Spirit at naligtas si Maria. Yun po ang pangalawa. Ang pangatlo, alam niyo po kahit gaano kalaki ng kasalanan ng mga babaeng nabanggit, ang grasya at kapatawaran ng Diyos ay hindi limitado Ano sa atin ito? Kahit gaano pa po ang pagkakasala ninyo, ang pagkakasala ko, God's love, God's mercy is greater than your sin. Walang kasalanan, hindi kaya niyang patawarin. Just turn to Him. Turn to Him. Reach out to Him. Walang kasalanan, hindi kayang patawarin ng Diyos. At yun ang sinasabi niya sa atin ngayon. Hindi ka man kasapi ng bayang Israel. Kahit gaano pa man kalaki ang iyong kasalanan, I will forgive you. And my salvation will be yours. Just turn to me. Please stand. As a frail and weak people, we bring our petitions before our Heavenly Father, who in His mercy and love wants us to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that our pastors may follow God's will and seek the good of those under their care, especially the poor and the less privileged. Let us pray to the Lord. That as a community, we may recognize the goodness in each other Show charity to all we meet, and refrain from judging or condemning the wayward. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have lost their way and are feeling the pain of loneliness, anxiety, and rejection may find hope in the mercy and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. That the sick the, hand, the housebound and those who are suffering may be encouraged and strengthened by the knowledge of God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins and rest in the peace of heaven forever. Let us pray to the Lord. For our personal intentions, the intentions of this Mass and of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary of Manawa, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, may the power of your love always sustain us. Help us not to get distracted by the cares of the world and not to be overcome by the evil in our lives. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. will be done for us, spiritual friend. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice in yours we become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him, with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that we may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be buried to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may be truly reflect the will of the Lord 
who guides the destinies of nations. For every petition we shall answer, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. And the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, candles, oils, images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.